Throw me in, coach. We're down by 20. Put me in the game. God. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's time. You've heard all the stories about White Randy, but now it's time to do the road to glory for White Randy. As you can see on your screen right here, we are going with the hardest difficulty and the hardest path. We're going with the 60 overall the underdog story. And this may be controversial, some of you may not like this, but I am deciding to be a quarterback in Road to Glory just because I don't think playing wide receiver, number one, it's going to be that fun. And number two, I want to have the ball in every single play. I don't think you guys would mind too much. I think it'll make for a better viewer experience. And plus, too, I did play a little Wildcat quarterback. I could throw that thing back in the day. This isn't something I want to do. This is something we have to do on the channel. It's only right. For those of you that don't know the entire lore behind White Randy, let me fill you in. In 7th grade PE class, your boy Matt was a pretty good wide receiver and I was known for mossing people. Therefore, I got the nickname White Randy. It is as simple as that. If you threw the ball anywhere near my vicinity, I was going to come down with it. I don't even know who said it first, which one of my friends did it, but it was one of those things where someone said it, another person said it, next thing you know, everyone's calling me White Randy. I'd have to go watch the old film and pull up the stat sheets, but if you do want some context and perspective, I think per PE class, I was averaging around... 180 yards you may be sitting here saying well matt if you was that good years ago in your middle school and high school days why didn't you play in college and that's a great question my friend i have an even better answer unfortunately white randy suffered a tragic knee injury a career ending one at that i did happen to tear not just one but both of my acls and in one knee completely shattered it toward my acl both my meniscuses my mcl pcl and patellar tendon it was a gruesome injury. To tell you the truth, one of my doctors told me I'd be lucky if I could play in the backyard with my kids 10 years from now. It happens, and I guess Randy's going to be that stereotypical uncle at the cookout talking about he could have made it to the league if he didn't tear his ACL. But in reality, if you ask anyone that grew up with me, if I didn't tear my ACL, I had a really good shot of making it. There's your little backstory, and regardless of all that, it doesn't matter besides the point. Although we didn't get to live out my career in real life, we're going to do it in the game. As I'm going through the hair options, I immediately notice there's not a bald option, which kind of sucks. I was going to make my character bald, so we're going to go with the closest one to it, and that is balding in the front. Kind of shocked there's not a bald option. That seems kind of whack to me, but it is what it is. We got to work with what we got. I'm going with the black visor, not the one that you can't see through. I want to see my eyes a little bit, and also... We went with the old squad, Black. See, back when I was coming up, we didn't have those stickers you put on your face. You had to actually draw it on with that. It wasn't like a Sharpie, but if you know, you know. You had to draw on the eye, Black. You already know we gotta throw on the knee brace because obviously that's where my ACL. I'm going through some throwing motions, see which one suits me best. Let me know in the comment section what y'all think. But if you gotta ask me, I think our player is looking pretty cool. Time to choose your mental abilities. We're at the point in time where we got a big decision coming up. Signing day. We got to decide where we want to play at. And I wanted to. I wanted to do it. I know you guys wanted to see it. I was looking to see if Chattanooga stayed off for me or Chattanooga. But you can't select them in this game. I thought they were going to be an option. It's a bummer. It's not. But now we got to go with an alternative. I still want to go to a smaller school and keep it close to home. So... I decided to keep it within the state of Tennessee. It was really close. I thought about going to Jacksonville State, but I decided to commit and sign with MTSU. What is the MTSU mascot, or what is their slogan? Don't know, but I guess I gotta learn it. And there it is. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we have made it official. White Randy, the two-star recruit, has committed to MTSU. The first thing they had me do was go to practice. We got that out the way and got us some, I guess you'd call them, skill points. I'm ready, though. Our first game is against the FCS Southeast Pandas. I've never heard of them before, but let's see what they got. Is the coach going to give me a chance? 
is the third string quarterback, White Randy, gonna get in, make an appearance in his first collegiate football game? You gotta ask me, my guts tell me probably not. Remember, White Randy is not a prestigious five-star recruit from Southern California. This is a homegrown from Northern Alabama two-star recruit. And we're starting out the game in a not so good way. We are down at half and I've still not entered the game. Coach, what are we doing? Put me in, it's close. Give me a shot, the offense is struggling. We're down by 11. And it's not gonna be enough. We lose the first game to an FCS school. The Pandas, 17 to 14. Call me a little cocky, call me a little arrogant, but I can't help but feel if I would've got a chance in this game, we could've made something happen. But it is what it is. I'm a freshman, a true freshman at that, a two-star recruit. I didn't expect to play, and we didn't. It does suck, though, to start out my Road to Glory career, playing or not, with a loss. Did get some skill points, some minor upgrades. We're going to be advancing to the next week. Who do we got on the schedule? What is the slate? We know we got to go to practice. Oh, I'm getting a text message. What is this? Oh, he wants me to do, like... Pretty much, oh, this is like the senior thing. You gotta pay your dues, but guess what? No, 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 I didn't do any of that back when I was in high school and I'm not doing it now. I don't care if I lose the leadership points. I'm not gonna run around and do your errands for you. You can do your own laundry. You can pick up your own pads, do all that. You can deduct all the skill points you want. Your boy Matt isn't someone else's you know what. Oh, here we go, what about this? We haven't even played and we're getting an NIL deal. Kind of ironic, it's for a Haircutting place, if you know, you know, your boy Matt doesn't have, we'll leave it at this, the longest hair in the world. Here we go, week two. What about this? We got a, man, tough matchup with Ole Miss, considering, and Ole Miss is a top 10 team. We just lost to FCF school, the Pandas. I'm not feeling too good. I also got to assume I'm probably not going to play too much in this game, or maybe not at all, but we can't worry about that. we got to control the controllables. We're going to practice first. Practice is over. We're heading back to the home screen, and you know what's next. we got the matchup with the Ole Miss Rebels, led by no other than the Lane Train. This one might be ugly. I'm very confident in my abilities and my team. Oh, I'm a 62 overall now, what about that? But if I'm not playing, this might could get ugly and get ugly quick. It actually, matter of fact, could get ugly if I do play, but it's one of those things we don't know. I'm hoping coach is gonna give me a chance. Throw me in there in the third quarter for down by 20. Oh man, I'm excited for this one. Traveling to Ole Miss. I love these games. Nobody expects us to win. We're gonna let it hang. At the end of one, we're only down by three. We'll take that on the road. Down by six. We cut it to three right before half, but Ole Miss, no, they scored a touchdown. Oh yeah, this one's, uh, yeah, it's not looking good, fellas. Throw me in, coach. We're down by 20. Put me in the game. God. How do I not get one opportunity? We're not producing on offense. Last week we scored 14, this week we scored 12. Put me in, coach. It can't get much worse. It can't. Give the kid a shot. Mm. Not an embarrassing loss, uh, you know. I'm looking, all right. If I'm not playing, I wanna see not what my replacement's doing, but what is the starter doing? As you can see, not much. Completing about half of his passes, one touchdown, one interception. He didn't play bad, but I can put up those numbers. Heading back to the home screen, and I'm not too sure how to feel about this. We are two games into our season. This isn't basketball, fellas. This is football. You only got 12 games, and we haven't played a lick. Granted, this is a long race. You know, it's not a short race. It's a marathon, not a sprint. That's where I'm going with this. Hopefully, we will get a shot. We just got to keep showing up to practice, working hard, and prove to coach that we deserve a shot. 
I'm not saying you gotta make me the starter, but just throw me in there as a backup. Throw me in there at the end of a quarter, something like that. In week number three, we got Western Kentucky. With that being said, this is gonna wrap up episode one. If this is a series y'all wanna continue to see on the channel, let me know in the comment section. I'm excited to get an episode two if you guys do wanna see that. And more importantly, I'm just excited to finally get into a meaningful game because I wanna play.